we started off a lot of the work with decorating something simple like a mug and every individual could decorate their mug in a way that they would like and within the care home it was agreed that every individual could therefore after drink out of their mug at different times during the day when they wanted to. Everybody had their own different shaped piece of pottery to drink out of which was really lovely. We used the mug as a way of introducing painting ceramics, so how the paints worked and how the pottery reacted when it heats up and obviously we give it back and it's really shiny, um, lovely finished piece. And from that we could find out how everybody thought and um, how creative everybody was or wasn't or what confidences they had in relation to being creative. And we could also find out things which they were interested in that they would like to decorate their hall with. Through a process of um, six weeks, we were able to um, pull together, almost like a patchwork, individual tiles which um, different residents painted and start piecing them together to have relationships with each other as a big picture. There was one resident who particularly enjoyed painting landscapes and she did five or six tiles within the centre. There's a, a big sunrise, which was really nice, um, and that was taken on by a series of residents. There's the name Barton Court, which is obvious to introduce people to, to the space. There's handprints all the way around the edge. We went into individual people's rooms. If someone was too sick to take part, we still managed to get their marks on this mural. One lady at the end when she saw the final piece just burst into tears because she was so impressed by the piece because they'd done their small part but they couldn't in their own mind see how it would all link together and it was such an emotional thing to see it pull together and see their pride in um, their own pieces of work. Because from week to week, some people would forget that they had done the beautiful flowers from the week before. <laughs>